Hey, welcome to round three. We're on the draw and we have a reasonable hand, I assume. I suppose, sorry. It would be good to be against Storm with this hand. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. We have a turn one play followed by Disruption on top of Disruption. Let's just hope we are against burn not exactly what I wanted to be against with a hand like this but we could draw into some reflector mages I suppose yeah I need to gain some temple yeah guides pretty annoying for us Ugh, another medley mage okay maybe we do get enough time to lock him out of the game here but he for sure is just gonna kill Nubble on his own turn, I suppose. Probably has the nut draw Searing Blaze here. Alright, so we're up against Burn on the draw, which is never good. Hopefully he missed the land drop. No blocks. Huh, did he miss the land drop? I don't think he did. Oh he did. Alright. That's not the worst. Um, so I guess we just medley mage for Searing Blaze. Searing Blaze. And actually, if he attacks, I might be just inclined to to give him the trade because I think I'm just gonna get a helix. Yeah, I'm just getting Lightning Helix to here. It's pretty fortunate for him to find the land. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm definitely going to trade here. Uh, reflector Mate. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm definitely give him in the trade. It's like, he obviously... Alright, that's some weird burn list. Oh, so it's not burn, it's zoo. All right. Ugh. Okay. So. Ugh. We are up against a. Could we double spell based on this? No, right? Because red green doesn't add anything for our deck. That's pretty unfortunate. Hmm. Uh. Question is, do we free booter? We are going to take six next turn. We're gonna fall down to eight. So I'm guessing we medley mage on. I mean, medley maging blindly. It's pretty rough, but at least we get to block. I think we're just gonna medley mage on lightning bolt. Alright, lightning bolt and pass the turn. Hopefully trade with one of the creatures he has. So it's not burned, it's actually zoo. It seems to be Naya Zoo. Yeah, it's just gonna attack with everyone. I'm definitely gonna trade with the experiment one here. The thing can go bigger. No, it has a pump, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, so we are pretty much just dead, I assume. Well, not exactly. Now we finally get to play this guy, but... We are at a pretty low life total. Let's just bounce the experiment one. Because it can grow bigger. Hopefully we can start blocking now, but I don't think that's the case. I think we are just dead. Yep. And we did. Alright, sure. Alright, let's see what we want for game two. Um, definitely want Aria Champion. Question is, do we want anything else? Rexian Revoker doesn't do anything. Steadicaster doesn't do much. I think he only has like... 
probably you wire in a cattle and experiment one is a one toughness creature definitely want to cut yeah I think I'm just gonna go like plus two our react champion and down two bobs uh, we could face a random warship from the sideboard which could be pretty annoying and probably unbeatable for us do we risk it and cut like Two Thalias for two Rex Ages. I really don't want to lose to a random warship. I think I'll just risk it. Better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. If we were up a game, I would not side in the, ref the Reclamation Sages. But we are down a game. And if I just lose to that, I have no answer whatsoever. And we have to mulligan this. And this is one that I would gladly keep. I'm actually going to put that to the bottom. I want to draw actual no more lands. Alright. There's a... There's like... Reasoning to keep that land on top. Because you might lead on... Goblin Guide. That might not be the case. Alright. Thalia might actually set him back for a little bit. Is that Goblin Guide or Lightning Bolt? It's probably Ponder if he wants to lead on Bolt or Guide. Or maybe why on a cattle goblin guide. Which could also be the case. Yeah. That's the guide. Uh, reflector image is a pretty good draw. And I'm not going to block. Folio in turn 2 might be a little bit of a hamper on his spells. Alright. Let's play Thalia. Crack back. Funny enough, I actually, actually. What? Wow, good shot. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Hope he misses a land drop. He did. Alright, Thalia is going to hold down the fort for a little bit. We are going to reflect our mage that Curdy back. And we are actually going to attack with Thalia. Alright, go. Why on a kettle? Not scary at all. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna phantasmal image why on a kettle. I'm sorry, I mean not phantasmal image why on a kettle. I'm gonna phantasmal image the reflector mage bounce why on a kettle. I just wanna keep him off balance and apply more pressure. Bounce that, still get to block and hit him for four. And go. No second land, and you are in trouble, my friend. Yeah, no attacks, that's what I thought. Um, Five cost to do the Thalia. Maybe we just want to freebooter his hand. Or maybe we just want to... No. Attacking with Thali is bad. Attacking with Reflector Mages... Is... Might not be that bad. I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack with both Reflector Mages. If he wants to double block, I just trade one for one on the guide and takes two damage. Yeah. 
So we kill Goblin Guide. Goes to seven. I'm just gonna freebooter his hand. Uh, Vexen Devil Bolt. All right, so let's take that bolt away and pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. We know six cards in his hand. Two Nakatos, Curdy, Boar. And that's it. X and Devil is not scary at all here. Problem is now he has the ground a little bit gummed up. Alright. I'm just gonna play another freebooter to speed up the clock. Rampager, sure. Rampager is really annoying. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Go. Still did not find a, a second land. That's very unfortunate. It's not much of a game when he doesn't play any spells, basically. It's just like playing one spell a turn, not doing much. I mean, we are at turns. Oh, so he sent me. A I only play one land in deck. Maybe I should take out my two CC cards. <laughs> yeah, maybe opponent. Maybe you should. Right, so I know exactly the six cards he has in hand. I might actually just name Wire in the Kettle here. That's rather unfortunate, bro. There is an argument, argument to have played the Ether Vial on a previous turn. But to be honest, I just want to speed up the clock. Now we're just going to name Wild on a Cattle. And. Yeah, Wild on a Cattle. Yeah, okay. Meddling Mage is enough for him. Um, we took out two Confidants and two Thalia. I mean, Thalia's not that great in this matchup because she doesn't block that well against, like, Kurt Ape. Buy on the cattle, uh, experiment one. I think I might just lead back like this. Hopefully he doesn't have an explosive draw like last, last time. If we are able to actually gain back some temple on the backs of like Reflector Mage or even Thalia. Or even like Mantis Rider, he doesn't draw bolts. I think we might be okay. I really like the type of deck that he has. Zoo decks are really some of my favorite decks in Magic. Right, this hand is really slow, like very slow. But we do have a Reflector Mage plus a Mantis Rider. I don't think we can mulligan this. Worst case scenario, we start copying his creatures to block. Alright, so we are probably gonna get Goblin Guide on turn one. Yeah, he had Goblin Guide all three games, that's pretty annoying. Alright, there's the third land that I needed. And a one drop, this is better. So now we are guaranteed for a Reflector Mage on turn three. We are not so far behind. If he doesn't lead on the second land, I think he's just gonna tilt. Okay, that's the second land. Uh, he might just go flint hoof, like the little boar. That's three three in haste, I, I think. I mean, that's a pretty aggressive plan. 
bad shocking twice. Oh no 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 no, that's bad. That's some bad news for us. Oh man. And that's eight damage. Jesus. Question is, do we trade trade here or not? To trade or not to trade? Ugh. Trade for only two damage. We go to ten, which is pretty risky. Next turn, we take at least two again. I think I'm just gonna take the damage. Yeah, that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Uh, I hope I get to live until turn three. And we're dead. Holy shit. Holy shit. We are dead. There's simply no way to beat that. Oh my god. Really? That was your hand? Jesus. I mean, what the fuck? I get hit for six again? Ugh. Come on. Fine, whatever. Am I dead? No, I'm gonna go to one. And then I die to the Farkas command next turn. Man, this is just retarded. How? Oh, what an opener for our opponent. Wow. Jesus. It's literally nothing we can do. Just, yeah, whatever. Fuck that. Okay. Looks like Zeus is still a good deck, I assume. Tough loss, but... Well, we did keep a pretty slow hand, I suppose. Alright, thank you for watching, guys.